How to use AI art using Midjourney V4. Combine images to make mind-blowing art. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing day. I bring you back with yet another great AI and designer tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to be discussing how you can make your very own AI art and AI designs using a great online tool, which is called Midjourney. Now, Midjourney isn't like your every other AI creator tool because obviously other creator tools, you can get them on uh, your basic Google platform, but for mid journey, you're gonna need to have a Discord. You don't need to have a Discord server or you don't need to be very experienced on Discord. You just need to have a basic Discord. Now, once you have a Discord, all you need to do is you're gonna follow what I do and follow me till the end. And if you do that, I guarantee you that you're gonna properly know how to create AI art and combine images to make mind blowing designs using Mac journey. So without further ado, let's get straight into it now once we're going in uh, let me tell you that this is totally free and you don't have to do or change anything or buy a plan so that's what's good about midjourney so you're gonna come here to midjourney.com and once you're in midjourney.com you can obviously come down here and read their about see what they're all about and you can also check their community showcase i'm gonna show you the showcase just so you know what you're getting into I'm gonna wait for this to load up really quick while it loads up i'm gonna come here and over here, you're going to obviously, first of all, you can either sign in or you can just straight up and go click on join the beta. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on join the beta and this is going to redirect me to a discord. So while it redirects me here, you can see all these images that you see in front of yourself. These were created using Midjourney and they were posted on Midjourney's basic showcase uh, portfolio. So this, as you can see, I guarantee you that this is all AI generated. All these images you see, none of this was created using any editor. It was all using Midjourney. So now that you come here to Discord uh, of Midjourney server, you can click on accept invite. And once you click on accept invite, it's obviously going to take you through the whatnots like verifying you and you're just going to do all that. You're going to get yourself signed in. So just make sure to properly verify yourself. So once you verify yourself, what's going to happen? is it's going to take you into Midjourney's uh, proper Discord page. Now, once you follow all my steps, you're going to come to the Discord uh, channel of Midjourney. And this is the Discord channel. Now, obviously, it's going to look like this. And uh, you're going to see a lot of things going on, a lot of team members, the Midjourney bot, etc. Uh, now, this is the announcements channel. So this is not where you're going to be. You're going to come to one of these newcomer rooms. Now you can go to this room, this room, or this room, depending on how many people are there. So uh, let's say, uh, let's go in this one. Now, once you're over here, you can see all these people have done all these different kinds of arts. So you're probably wondering how did they do it? So don't worry, I'm going to teach it all to you. First of all, what you're going to need to do is you're going to write slash, you're going to write imagine. And once you write imagine, you're going to click on that and look at that. That's the only thing you need to do. Now that has created a font for you. And all you need to do now is write whatever you want. So let's say I were to write now, if we put that in, we're just going to put that in. And that was me. I put that in and look at that. It's starting to load. Now, obviously it's going to take uh, a few seconds. You could say a few seconds to load and do make sure to stay on this prompt. If you were to lose your message, all you need to do is you're going to come down here. Whenever you see a yellow line, you need to stop on that. And there we go. That's going to be your message. And look at that. It's already started creating my art that I just told it to make get in his messy room, listening to songs. And it's already 62% done. So we're just going to wait for it to load up really quick. And again, as I said, if you lose sight of your art, all you need to do is you're going to scroll up and down until you see the yellow bar for messages. And there we go. There it is. And look at that. My AI has just created and look at that. Look at how amazing that looks. There's the kid in his messy room and he's obviously listening to the song. Now, do know this, that if you want to download any one of these, you can download it using U1, U2, U3, and U4. Now, U1 is this, U2 is this, U3 is this, and U4 is this. Now, this is obviously how you create an art. Now, if you want a separate variation for a separate kind of picture, like let's say I like this one a lot. This is U3, the third picture, and I want a, a variation. I want different variations of this. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click on V3 over here and 
what this will do is it will start creating variations of that certain image so there we go and we can see that it just says variations by me get in as much room listening to songs and it's zero percent we're just gonna wait for it to quickly make our variation now sometimes because of the server being too full it might take a bit time in creating your ai but do not worry if this server is full you can just go into another one it's totally not an issue but yeah that is how basically you can create and make variations of your art now when it comes to let's say downloading your art you all you need to do is you're going to choose this image whatever image and the the ones you like so i'm just going to go there we go now whatever image you like Let's say I, I said I like U3. All you need to do is you're gonna click on U3. And once you click on U3, you're gonna come down here. We're gonna scroll down. I look at how much traffic this server has. And once we click on U3, there we go. Now, first of oh, there we go. Now variations for our picture was just made. So as you can see, here are the different variations. And with these variations, if I were to scroll up, now let's say I like the third one, I'm gonna click on U3. And what that does is it's gonna slowly export that image in front of me. And all I need to do is when that image is exported, all I need to do is I'm going to right click it like this one over here. There we go. You're going to right click and you're just going to click on save image. And what that does, is, let's say if I were to come over here, I'm going to click right click, save image. And once you click on save image, there we go. And I'm just going to click on save, send it to my downloads. Now, if I were to go and check my downloads, here we go. And I'm going to load it up and look at that perfect quality and it looks amazing. So yeah, that is basically how you can create amazing art using mid journey and obviously combine all these images to make great designs. So if you enjoyed the video, please drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this, please let me know that as well. But yeah, until then, I hope you all keep having a great day. That was all from me and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.